We are covering an interesting one today, folks. For some, this is an instant classic. For others, it's a heaping pile of- After I completed my Roller Coaster Tycoon series, I promised you guys, I was gonna show you the theme park game I played the most as a kid. And now, it's that time. Getting this thing to run on modern PCs is a task. A monumental task. I managed to pull it off. I have the original disc. See? You see these? Got the- You got the theme park? and the gold edition. There's just one little problem. I couldn't get the US version working. So instead, we are playing the very similar UK version called Theme Park World. They're essentially the same game, but different accents for this little guy who talks to you. I remember him being fun and charming and telling me all these things that I could and could not do. I liked the little guy. He kind of reminded me of like the clip art thing from Microsoft Word. I'm excited to reunite with my old friend after all these years. Welcome to Theme Park World. I'm the advisor around here, and I'm going to help you through the game. There's tons of great stuff to explore and do. What am I thinking? I don't even know your name. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? Click on a new player button and type in your name. You know what's crazy is I'm getting hit with a disgusting amount of nostalgia right now. I'm like unbelievable amount of nostalgia. And hearing his voice not sound like the one I remember makes us feel like some sort of weird fever dream or something. Here's what the US version sounds like. Don't I know you? Click on your name on the list if you've played before. If you haven't, click on the new player button to get started. What is he supposed to be? Is he supposed to be like a beetle, a radio, or like an alien? What, what is he? So there are four different types of parks that I remember, and Lost Kingdom was the one I spent the most time in, and that's what we're gonna do today. No, I should be about here. Of course, I remember. Yes, yes, yes. Enter a land of prehistoric mystery, where reptilian giants roam the land, and where you season the primordial soup. Welcome to Lost Kingdom, the theme park that time forgot. What? Just to get you started, I built a small park, nothing fancy, and I hired some staff to run it. It could use some fixing up, but hey, it's a start. My gosh, okay. See I'm... the control panel over there at the bottom left part of the screen? Hey, the buttons on it do dude. a bunch of different things. Click them and I'll tell you more. How often he's popping up is how often he's popping up. I get it. Okay, just let me play the game. I haven't even had a second to breathe. So I'm guessing Instant Action kind of built some stuff for me. We got some bathrooms. This and... screen lets you see the details of a toilet. If that's what you really want to do. The buttons at the bottom of the panel let you delete the toilet, move it somewhere else, Call a cleaner and open or close it. To rename the toilet, click on its name. To see a list of all miscellaneous items, click the button on the right edge of the panel. So, as I was saying... On this screen, you can view the details of a staff room and see who's inside. To choose a different type of staff, you click the buttons above the list. Use okay. the buttons at the bottom... I'm done with you. Anyways, so it looks like we have some different rides. Let's start hiring some staff first, because I can see we have some staff members but I want to see what it looks like actually hiring the staff, because I don't... This is where you can buy stuff to build in your Stop. park. <clears throat> Why did he clear his throat like that? This screen shows all kinds of information about your Bro. park. Bro! <laughs> okay, where is my staff? <clears throat> now you need to click on a path to place your new employee in the park. He'll start working right away. I'm not even five minutes into this game and I am ready to take that stupid guy and punch his face in, I'm telling you. I can say this, you could either argue that the artwork is stylized or it aged very, very poorly. Which camp are you in? Comment below, I would love to know which camp you're in. Can I rotate the screen? 
Oh, that's really, really nice. Both Roller Coaster Tycoon and Sim Theme Park came out in the same year, which made the 3D in this game incredibly novel for the time period. You I'm gonna can use the plus and minus buttons on this screen to adjust the ticket price. Or yeah, I get, I'm trying to the tell them to about the ticket price, the dude. So Stop I can raise the ticket price. Cheaper. I'm just gonna talk over it because I'm just... The way this dude clears his throat every time I cancel him out too is just... <clears throat> Looks like our scientists came up with something called dino carts. Let's get that built. Okay, so again. we're just building the it. queue. I'm gonna just you ignore him for now. The and the then queue. there we go. And then that's the exit path right there. Just like Roller Coaster Tycoon, we're gonna start building our ride. So this is one of the things that made this game so good from what I remember, is you could actually build out the path. And this was pretty remarkable and ahead of its time. So we can increase the speed. You can see the excitement rating going and the reliability going down. Capacity capacity reduces the reliability and the number of laps is more excitement as well and i still remember when i played this as a kid this was a remarkable feature clicking this button right here this was revolutionary when this game was out because at the time roller coaster tycoon you couldn't do this so as janky and as aged as these graphics do look, this was next level at the time. Let's see what options we have when we click on a drink stand. So you have your quality of goods. I don't know why anyone would choose this. I mean, what do you get out of that? Get your cost of goods down? But really there's just no point for it considering money's not that difficult to get in this game. And you can choose the amount of ice There's a litter well. bug running amok in the park. You should get a cleaner on the case and clean up the mess. So you've got rides, you've got sideshows, you've got shops, and you've got miscellaneous items which are like your designs and things like that. Put little plants, whatnot, you know. But just like you see in Roller Coaster Tycoon and from that other ride we just did, you can open this up, change the speed, change the capacity and the number of cycles as well. There. And this ride looks interesting too. Oh man, this is a roller coaster. Let's build this. So we're going to do our best not to compare this to the roller coaster tycoon games because those are designed for roller coasters, right? So let's see how this one does. So it's showing me all the available areas that I can place this track. I guess I can go directly through this ride over here, but maybe we go here for starters. We can click the extend option and you can raise or lower it just by holding down the mouse button. And I wish we could zoom out. We've got trouble, boy. Boss, <coughs> a ride is about to break down. I am so sorry for me doing this, but I need to see if I can turn this dude off. That's what she said. <laughs> Options, turn off, turn off, turn off, pop up help. Oh, sweet, sweet relief. I wish I could zoom out more because I, I literally can't tell what I'm doing here. Maybe we go this way with our ride and I'm gonna take this now and I'm gonna lower it. That's a lot of uh, chain. Oh, that adds like a corkscrew effect. So if I choose this, whatever that is, it like, you guys see how it's doing that? It like twists my, my, my ride. Just this one, that's a pretty cool little thing. What does this guy do? I can take this and twist it as well. Look at the craziness that you can do with this. Look, you can see all the pop-ups still. It's like, it's still trying to talk to me. It's just like, I'm ready to speak to you. I muted him, but he's still speaking to us in spirit. And so if you look here- Did you know hitting the like and subscribe button changes the channel's trajectory forever? And it changes your life too. If you want to know more, hit the like and subscribe button today. Leaving a comment is good for the algorithm. It's a- Boom. Dude. Okay, then we're gonna go all the way over here, go around this crazy silly monkey, swing back around this way, and how do I get this to complete? Is there like an auto-complete? Look how nice that was, that was so easy to do. Okay, I'm about to say something incredibly controversial, okay? This was so much easier and intuitive than Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2. Okay, well look, obviously it's not nearly as detailed and obviously it's not nearly as much of a simulator. I picked this up after how many years and had zero issues whatsoever designing this thing and it was so much easier. I didn't have to mark chain, I didn't have to... All those things are great features, but if you're brand new at this game or any game, for that matter, it should be nice and simple. Props to this game for getting that right because so far it's been chatty. Let's put it that way. Dude, it's just like in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Are we ready? Here we go. The big drop. What a crazy ride. Yeah. That was pretty terrible. <laughs> As easy as that was, there's a lot less flexibility. The graphics are pretty, 
small. Building these coasters was easy, but the ride ended up pretty simple. I'm sure you can do other cool stuff with this. I will say the map size is pretty small though. We really don't have that much rip. Whoa, maybe we do. Oh, I got all of that park I can purchase. Okay, that, that redeems it for me. You could actually buy a lot of park, it looks like. Oh, this is nice too. We got people in the park, arrival rate, average happiness, time in park, park rating. So you do have some sort of simulation stuff too in this game. You could take this game a little more seriously or you could just play it for funsies and just build a park you'd like to have. If you want to know more about the channel, click the about tab on the channel page. You'll see all the information you could possibly need. I don't need your, your advice. No one needs your advice. I'm very Dude. happy that you're here. Huh. Oh, there's the option to buy the land. So you can buy land by clicking the buy land. And I think you just come over here if you wanna extend your park. Look at that, yeah, look at that. I would, I really wish I could zoom in and out because it's just, I feel like it's too close. I need to be able to see what I'm actually buying. So you could really expand your park. I was at first thinking, this is it, this, this is it. This is it, this is what? I really do like this map view too, just seeing all these different dots, which are the new visitors. One thing that's really nice that you don't really think you might need, but I'm thinking that this little white area, as I click on security, is where there's lots of security or where there's lots of problems that need security. I'm not quite sure on that, but it is still cool that there's these little heat maps. Cause look, if I click the janitor, you can see that right here, there's something going on here. There's a lot to this map and it's very easy to understand. I'm organically unlocking stuff with my scientists, which is really cool as well. Just adding these random designs that are thematic, I'll put it that way. I do love the sound effects though. I will say that the sound effects are pretty nice. I just saw some lightning. My goodness, I need to get a janitor up in here. Get to work. So honestly, I've been playing this game for maybe 30 or 40 minutes so far. And uh, I've built every single ride, every single sideshow, every single shop, including every single miscellaneous item. I still have plenty of money and I've got plenty of land I could technically buy. Now, a lot of this game, you earn golden tickets and then you unlock these different themed parks. And while there are some different rides in these different parks, mostly it's just wrapping. Most of it is the same exact rides with different themes. And I remember as a kid, a lot of the appeal to this game was unlocking those other themed parks because I thought it was so cool when you finally got to like the Halloween one. That's the one I always remembered playing as a kid. This one was just the generic dinosaur one that you start with. With my siblings, they'd be playing this game or something I'd be like you're still on the dinosaur one i'm on the halloween one now so let's talk about this game for a moment it's negatives the style can be kind of off-putting and i don't know how well it really aged and how much of it is my own nostalgia that dude would not shut up <clears throat> I had such fond memories of the little guy, and now I'm just like, can you stop so I can actually think what I wanna do? And there's not a lot of customization in terms of color choices, rides having different themes, the positives of this game. The game actually grew on me as I kept playing it. I love how approachable the game is. The menu system is very easy to understand. Building the rides, the roller coaster is very easy to understand. Riding your rides, absolutely ahead of its time. And it doesn't look half bad today. I'm finding if I want to dive deeper in this game, I certainly can. And the music and sound effects, I think still hold up today. So truth be told, I would say this one's a mixed bag, but no disrespect to this because this was my game as a kid and I love this game. It's like you have a kid. You love that kid, right? That kid is ugly as all get out, but you still love it and you're going around showing it off. Look at my baby. That's kind of like this game. Okay, I've officially had enough. They're not the, you know, I just, okay. Wait, just hang on, just stop, just stop talking for just a minute. You two, please just, 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 just stop, just stop, all of you, just stop. Just, I'm hearing these voices, they're not real, they're just in my head, just... 